Have you ever wanted to enter your kitchen and cook something, but you're such an incompetent fool that you don't know which end of the spoon is for stirring things with, and you can't cope with the consequences of your actions within the kitchen? Well, if that's the case, then you can uh, turn to a little game that was released in 2008 called What's Cooking? with Jamie Oliver. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know who Jamie Oliver was, because most people I know either don't know who he is or dislike him to a certain degree. So for those of you who don't know who Jamie Oliver is, I'll just um, sum him up real quick. So Jamie Oliver is a very popular celebrity chef over here in the UK. Uh, he's made lots of cookbooks, like uh, Jamie's Italy, F Jamie's Five Ingredients, Jamie's Dinners, He's got TV shows, lots of them actually, so many TV shows. Jamie's Meat Free Meals, Jamie's 15 Minute Meals, Jamie Cooks Italy, alright. Um, <laughs> he's got a YouTube channel uh, with more than 5 million subscribers, which is pretty impressive. Um, he really doesn't like sugar. He's made documentaries about sugar and how bad it is. He's he's enforced like a sugar tax in his restaurants, like a Coke costs like ten pence more or something. Apparently it works, uh, so much that that's actually a thing that's been actually enforced in the UK. He was first uh, noticed by the BBC when he was working as a sous chef in a cafe in Fulham where he made an appearance in a documentary called uh, Christmas at the River Cafe. A few years later they gave him his own TV show and cookbook and he was an instant hit over here in the, uh, the United Kingdom. So now that you all know who Jamie Oliver is, let's move on to his game, shall we? This was actually one of my favourite games when I was younger. Um, along with the likes of Tomodachi Life and um, Mario Kart DS, those were pretty fun too. But even though I enjoyed it, it was poorly received by critics who said that the controls were terribly unintuitive and that the game was mediocre and poorly executed. So let's not waste any more time and let's uh, get into the game, shall we? The game begins with what I can only really describe as a really aggressive slideshow of Jamie related images. The reason why the game is called What's Cooking with Jamie Oliver is because there are some delightful little voice lines scattered throughout the game which I'll show right now. Okay, let's go shopping. Well done, you're doing really great. Come on, chop chop. Let's get going. Cook off guys. Come on, faster. Oh, that looks great. Delicious. Get some practice in my virtual kitchen. These voice lines are recordings of Jamie's voice made especially for this game. I think these voice lines really carry a lot of charm and make the game much more interesting. Especially when Jamie's hassling you when you haven't finished a challenge yet but you need to in like the last five seconds. This game contains an interactive cookbook but it's not really anything that remarkable, it's just a bunch of Jamie's recipes uh, put together in this little interactive cookbook. Once you enter the game, you can choose between three uh, modes, Test Kitchen, Get Stuck In, and Cook Off. Test Kitchen is pretty much just like the tutorial, like um, learning how to use the uh, utensils, the, um, the oven, the fridge, that sort of thing so nothing much to talk about there. So then there's the uh, the cook-off mode where basically you can choose between two options uh, time attack or you can choose to start a challenge. In time attack mode you have to carry out a task such as um, frying an egg but you don't have any instructions and you have to carry it out within a really strict time limit. This can actually be really difficult because it's really hard to uh, get one of the tasks right uh, if you don't know what you're doing. The other option is to start a challenge and this is how you can um, collect ingredients for the free play mode which I'll talk about later on. When you enter this mode you have to uh, like pick a recipe to cook 
and you're given the instructions but you have a strict time limit to complete it. You also have to complete the recipe properly otherwise you fail the challenge. There are quite a few problems with this game mode, like how there's a limited amount of ingredients you can keep on one surface, so if you want to gather all of your ingredients before you start you have to scatter them all over the place, and that could normally lead to uh, around the end you have to like run around the kitchen trying to find them. Another problem is that sometimes it doesn't tell you what you need to do in certain situations, like for example if you're preparing a sauce, it doesn't tell you to mix it up or not, but I tried it both times either way and it didn't really matter which. Overall though I found this game mode really fun and quite challenging, um, and I would give it a try if you have the game. The game mode I enjoy the most is um, Get Stuck In, where you basically have free reign over the kitchen. There's no time limit and you can use as many ingredients as you want. And it also allows you to use all the ingredients you earn during the challenge mode. The Jamie voice lines certainly aren't as prominent as they are in the other modes, but they're still present. For example, if you burn something, um, Jamie will tell you, he will let you know. This game mode actually allows you to um, save the recipes you've created. This is because it documents every single action you make in that mode, so it saves whatever you do. This mode is good for people who want to be able to make their own dishes in the game, or just for people who want to make the most stupid thing possible, which is mostly what I did. I've always found this part of the game really enjoyable, and I'd recommend it to anyone who's interested in that sort of thing. In conclusion, I really enjoy this game, still. It provides a little bit of challenge and a little bit of just mucking about which I like in games, when they just let you do whatever you want. I certainly don't agree that the controls are unintuitive, because I found them really easy to pick up and just really simple. Also, even though this game was badly received, I'm glad to see that um, more cooking games are being made, like uh, Cooking Mama and Cooking Simulator. I think that there aren't many cooking games, and it's good that there are starting to be more out there. So yeah, that's that's what's cooking with, with Jamie Oliver. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you goodbye.